Okay, now our next speaker for the opening session would be Thais Leray from the European Commission. Bonjour à tous. Uh, hello, good morning to all. I will speak in English. It's a pleasure for me to be here for the Symposium on Forest Adaptation to Climate Change. And I would like to thank the Occitania region, the Languedoc Regional Park, and the Project Forecast for hosting this, re this event and inviting me to say a few words in this opening session. We are today in a context where climate change is not something of a distant future that we discuss in a hypothetical way, but something that we observe, hear about, and experience in our daily lives. Forests fulfill many critical productive and regulation functions, carbon sequestration, clean drinking water, abundant food, wood, and forest products, cultural and recreation opportunities, biodiversity. They also buffer climate impacts, locally limiting effects of heat waves, but also of floods and droughts through their water retention capacity. Ensuring forests can withstand a changing climate is critical to preserving ecosystem services and reaching our many objectives, and not least, their carbon sequestration potential. Forests are gathering attention, and rightly so. Scientific and other reports, like the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Special Report on Land, which was just mentioned, unanimously point to the critical role of land ecosystems and forests in reaching climate objectives. All assessed pathways that limit warming to 1.5 degrees or well below 2 require significant land-based mitigation and land use change that removes CO2 from the atmosphere. Most of these include reforestation, afforestation, reduced deforestation, peatland, wetland restoration, the use of advanced bioenergy with carbon capture and storage. But forests themselves are also under increasing pressure from climate impacts. Extended heat waves like were felt in France last year, droughts, storms, pest infestations in Central Europe, or forest fires like Portugal or even Sweden in 2018. It is urgent to ensure that our forests and more generally our ecosystems are resilient to the effects of climate change, able to withstand climate impacts and continue to provide us with the goods and services our societies depend upon. The European Commission proposal for an EU strategy for long-term greenhouse gas reduction, a clean planet for all, sets out a vision towards net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. It highlights that maintaining and further increasing land-based carbon sinks is crucial to achieve our objectives. And from the other side, the EU climate adaptation strategy that was adopted in 2013 aims at enhancing the EU's preparedness and resilience to current and future impacts. Promoting actions by member states climate-proofing EU policies and bridging the knowledge gap in support of decision-making. And while there were 15 member states with an adaptation strategy in 2013, there are now 26 member states with such a strategy. Agriculture forestry rank high in terms of vulnerability and priority sector, and climate adaptation has been mainstreamed at EU level into many policies now. The forest strategy, the common agricultural policy, the water framework directive, which are all legislative piece that need to take into account future climate projections in the definitions of plans and strategies. Research and pilot projects have also been supported in order to enhance climate resilience and preparedness. Last year, we finalized the evaluation of the strategy, which concluded that it, was, that it had effectively progressed in all its identified actions, that it was still very relevant, but that it could still deliver more in some areas and could usefully move from awareness raising towards implementation. We are pursuing our reflections on the future of an EU adaptation strategy and strongly believe that adaptation provides an opportunity to proactively align practices, among which in forestry, with the climate of tomorrow rather than belatedly react to damages and catastrophes. We need to anticipate the future climate when planting trees, when managing forests, and ensure that they are suited to the climate conditions that will prevail in 30 to 80 years. This is what the Life Forecast Project that is convening this symposium contributes to, as many other projects do, looking at different angles, forest management practices, technologies, decision-making support tools, scientific research, etc., cetera, et cetera. This is how the Life Program supports the development, implementation, of EU environmental and climate policy and legislation 
through support to these projects. Events like this one are a wonderful opportunity to disseminate research and project results, tools, practices, experience to a wide audience for enhanced solutions and faster uptake of possible solutions. From our side, we're reflecting on the future of the EU strategy and policy options to support as best we can the adaptation transition rather than support lock-in into untenable status quo. I'm sure this workshop will be rich in sharing knowledge experience, tools, policy options for more resilient forests, and I look forward to hearing from all of you more about that. I think you're ready. <laughs>